hi everyone welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to talk about look behind and look ahead which is very important concept in regex when we wanted to find some data we write pattern for it now let's call it pattern one but this pattern is a special one where before this there should be one more pattern let's call that one as pattern two behind this pattern there should be one more pattern let's call it pattern 3 so pattern 1 should be in between pattern 2 and pattern 3 for head part we have to write one pattern that is positive look behind assertion and for tail part we have to write look ahead assertion now let's take the first example where we know the first name and last name and we wanted to find all the middle names we are going to discuss about two points first we are going to find the data and then we are going to replace it with spaces now let's see the python solution for this and here i have the data where i have given the full name and i wanted to find the middle name here so first i have to define the first part that is the first name that is john and then i have to define the last name that is NLU and I'm going to use find all to find the middle data let's execute this code and you can see we have do over here now I'm going to replace the middle name that is do with spaces and for that I'm using sub method now let's execute this code and you can see we have John NLU lab now let's see the second example where we wanted to replace all the symbols which is in between two characters. So the first line is our input and second line is the output. And here we are going to replace the percentile sign and dollar sign because both of these are in between two characters. But the last part it is like in the left side only we have the character. So we are not going to replace it. Now let's see how we are going to solve this one. Now in this example we have this input data and first part is the character and then we should have the symbols and at last again it should be a character. Now first I'm going to find the pattern and uh, next I'm going to replace it with spaces. Now let's execute this code. And you can see the output. Thank you.